It's the calm before the storm. Now I got it down pretty efficiently though. And Gary Smith. <laughs> Doesn't take me a lot of time. Has just enough time. Bust it up. To get everything ready. A few minutes it's going to be a beehive of activity. Before Eden Prairie. So the supply has to be replenished. Afternoon rush. Justice Sullivan is in the house. I love the kids and I love being able to help them. From taping. If it's not getting better we probably should get a picture. To teaching. What happens was you get a little bit of a thing like that. Lots. Ice bag 101. And lots. You want to tie the knot really high. Of teaching. Okay. Thank you. For the past 22 years. Alice Love. When you say Schmitty. Let's go, bud. That's a singular name that the whole community knows. Schmitty's been EP's athletic trainer for state title after state title. He's taken care of a lot of kids and gotten a lot of kids to play a lot of a lot of minutes uh, that, you know, with another trainer, maybe they wouldn't have. Because not many athletic trainers have 52 years I'm running late. of experience. I heard about a job at the University of Minnesota. I uh, paid my own way up and uh, got a job as the assistant trainer at the University of Minnesota. They met a guy named Herb Brooks, and he took me on the ride of my life. That ride includes national championships and the 1980 Miracle on Ice. It was a great group of guys that were very, very young. Uh, the upset of the Russians was like Eden Prairie beating the Vikings in football. Smith would later work in both the NBA and NHL. You need to start doing some knee bends. But his favorite stop. The parents and the kids just appreciate everything you can do for them. Is right here at Eden Prairie. There you go, bud. Where some of the student athletes might not know his backstory. He definitely is a humble guy. But they do know this 74-year-old still runs a tight ship. Girls, take your uh, backpacks outside, will you please? And he still loves what he does. In fact, usually Hall of Fame is a reserve for those finished with their career. Thank you, Gary. But this year, Smith becomes the first ever athletic trainer inducted into the Minnesota State High School League's Hall of Fame, and he has no plans of slowing down. As long as uh, my mind stays sharp and I can, I can help uh, the kids and the coaches, I'll keep doing it.